welcome back to another vlog. It's Thursday. I'm about to film some content for Lulu's. I have three outfits to film and I haven't tried any of them on yet. They're all dresses and they're all so gorgeous. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. I wanna get some picnic content in all of them at some point, but I think I'm gonna get some picnic content in this blue one today. And I switched out my roses for these tulips. Um, and then I matched these heels to the outfit. So I think it's gonna look so freaking cute. This is a Lulu's purse that I'm gonna match with each dress too. I just got done steaming this one. It was a little wrinkly. It's a nice sunny day today and then the rest of the week is gonna be pretty cloudy. So I wanna take advantage of the weather and get the picnic content today. I cut an inch or two off of my bangs last week just because I felt like they were just getting weighed down and I love the length. Um, right now they're styled with the Dyson round brush. When they're curly, they're a little bit shorter. Um, but I'm contemplating going a tiny bit shorter just because with the round brush, I feel like I might want them a tiny bit shorter. I'm not sure. But I think they look so much better than before. I just love the look of bangs. I didn't vlog last week because my in-laws were in town for a couple of days and we just had so much fun. So I kind of just had an unplugged week, but we're back at it. And it feels a little weird. I mean, like I only took a week off, but I feel like rusty already. So I'm trying to get back into it. It's three o'clock right now. So I'm gonna get content in all of these outfits then head over to the park to get my picnic content because the sun doesn't set until about 8 p.m. So I have plenty of time. I love this dress so much. It's so pretty and dainty. It's giving cotton candy princess vibes. I love the length of it. The shoulders and the back detailing are my favorite. This second dress is so freaking cute. It feels so nice too, and it makes the girls look amazing. I don't think my girls have ever looked this good, so I love this dress. The back detailing is really nice too. I paired it with a red bow. Now I only have one more dress to do. All right, so I love this dress, but because I don't have any support, it's just like not staying up, and I feel like it looks like it should be like up here when it's like not. And maybe I'm in my head, but I just, I don't know. And I can't wear a bra because you can see my skin right here. Um, but I just keep pulling it up and I'm just an all natural girl, okay? I had my hubby come with me and we're gonna set up right over there. The weather is beautiful today. Okay, this is how I have it set up, similar to last time, except I added a bow to my glass. I think it looks so freaking cute. I'm gonna put these heels on because they're so adorable. I want to include them in the shot. And then I'm gonna do a test run, of course, but it looks like everything is in frame. I think I got the shot. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm trying to get some product shots now, some up closes of everything. Okay, so I can barely see though because it's so bright out. I have a good shot right here, but there's absolutely no wind. And if I could get a little bit of wind to turn a couple of pages, that would just be amazing. I have an extra rare beauty blush in the shade Happy and I wanna do a giveaway with it. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the giveaway, but I just recorded a video of myself using it right now. And I think the rules are gonna be, the giveaway is gonna be US only. And to enter, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and comment on this reel right here on my Instagram that you want to enter the giveaway. You can say anything, I don't know, but I'm gonna pick the winner next Sunday. So I'll announce the winner on my Instagram Sunday the 28th and DM them and send them the blush. So that's kind of exciting. I haven't done a giveaway in so long and I've been wanting to do one, especially since I recently hit 10K on Instagram. So it just happened perfect. If you haven't tried any of these blushes, they're so freaking good. I just reapplied this one right now. The sun's going down so you can't see it as well, but I would enter if I were you, okay? <laughs> I changed into something comfy and had a light dinner, but let me show you my new filming setup. This is the second biggest size of the Lucky Girl Syndrome poster that I got off of TikTok shop, and I think it looks great. The bigger one would have been too big, and like I said, the frames were just impossible to find. Um, but I got this frame off of Amazon for like 60 bucks. It's really good quality, and then I got this lamp off of TikTok shop too. It's so vibey, it has, well, I don't think these feathers are real, but they feel real. Um, 
and I think it looks so good. I love it. My vision came to life here. So this is what my new background looks like. I haven't filmed anything since I redid it. I like having a bare wall behind me for most videos, but at least I have the option to have a nice backdrop here. And then like for when I'm vlogging, because before I had my uh, beer challenge poster up there. And now, let me see, I'm just trying to see how it looks. Now it just looks nicer. I mean, it's not the best angle, but... Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good angle. That's cute. Yes. I love it. It's so cute. It's so me. Right now, I'm pushing myself to go make this Sleepy Girl mocktail recipe that I have been telling myself I was going to film for like the last three months. My husband and I just discovered a tastier recipe. Instead of using cherry juice, which is the original recipe because cherry juice has like some ingredients that help to promote sleep i'm pretty sure i think it's tart cherry juice so instead of the tart cherry juice we used pineapple juice and oh my gosh it is so much better it like froths up it's it's so freaking delicious so i'm gonna go into the club room and film it because my kitchen is not aesthetic okay it's just not cute so that's why I've been putting this video off for so long because when I have a video that I want to film that's in the kitchen, usually most of the time I will go to the clubhouse to film it. Like if I have a paid collab, um, I'll go do that just because it looks a lot more professional. It's way more aesthetic. I won't go make my coffee in the club room. That would just be doing too much. I did a couple collabs with Triscuit where I made some recipes in the club room and they came out pretty good. So this shouldn't take me too long. I'm gonna use my pink heart glasses, some pink glitter, edible glitter that I haven't used in forever. Um, I have my cute straws and then I have my heart shaped mold. So the video should be pretty aesthetic. I'm like, should I tie a bow to the glass? I'm like, is that doing too much? But we're always doing too much, right? Since when did doing too much become an issue? Okay, this is the setup. There's music in here and I don't know how to turn it off. So I'm gonna have to just deal with that. I wanted to go for like an ASMR thing, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen since this music is going off. All right, I just figured out how to turn it off. Yay. Friday. It's about 6 p.m. My husband and I are about to go play pickleball for the second time ever this season. We're so excited. I always get a little nervous, especially when it's not with my bestie and her man, because if it's not people that I know, I always get a little bit nervous, especially because it's been so long. So I'm excited. I know it's going to be fine. I was working on branded content today. I got a lot done. I even washed my hair. It feels so much better. My Sleepy Girl mocktail came out okay yesterday. It wasn't up to my expectations just because I added the edible glitter and you couldn't see it. So I don't know if I want to post it or not. I think I want to remake it without the glitter because I feel like the glitter kind of messed with the consistency. I feel like it didn't foam up as much as it usually does. And I wasn't sure why, but I'm thinking it has to be the glitter. Plus I used a strawberry poppy and I think I like it better with the cherry or the orange poppy. I have to figure that out. It tasted a little odd after I made it. So I think I'm going to reshoot it. It's just a perfectionist in me. I know it's horrible. I should just edit the video and post it, but I'm like, I can do better. <laughs> shower so let's do some skincare it was so freaking hot outside and the humidity is crazy i was like drenched in sweat we played three games and won one so it wasn't too bad i feel like we could have won the last game but we were just getting tired i always say that but yeah so taylor swift just released her new album today and unpopular opinion i'm too scared to say this on tiktok because i know all of the swifties will come for me but I'm like 31 songs like that's just way too much in my opinion. I'm like I don't have time to listen to 31 songs. I listened to three of them and then I listened to the diss song um, that she wrote about Kim and I'm sorry I love Taylor Swift but I'm just like who's singing this? It just sounds like I feel like she released a lot of the songs that she probably should have just kept in the vault, but that's just my opinion. I need to at least listen to all the songs before I can say anything else. It's just so much, I don't think it's gonna happen, and I thought it was quality, not quantity. 
So I'm a little confused. Apparently all of the Swifties love it. So maybe I'm just a hater. I mean, I promise I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just being honest. I took my nail stickers off and cut them down last week because I landed a UGC collab and they requested for me to have natural nails or like a natural nail polish. I didn't want to take them off because I just did them, but you got to be professional when you're working with people, especially when you're getting paid. So I took them off and right now I am currently on the hunt for like a natural pretty nail polish or like nail sticker. I'm going to end the vlog here and start a new one. I know this week's vlog was a lot shorter. I just started vlogging later in the week. Next week, I'll be sure to start vlogging on Monday, especially because our anniversary is next week. I want to document that. I ordered us a cake from Walmart. I saw this girl sharing how she ordered a cute one for her 30th birthday on TikTok. So I just made it customizable for our anniversary. And last year we blew out a candle with the number one for our first year. And I want to just continue to do that every single year with whatever year we're celebrating. So I got to get a number two candle. Um, maybe we'll have a picnic or something cute like that. I mean, I'll force my husband to have a picnic with me. <laughs> At least I'll get to eat some cake. Make sure you follow the rules if you want to enter the giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner next week on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me over there too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and make sure you're following me on all social platforms. I'll see you next week. Ooh.